Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in court with the one and only Broken Teeth Josh, a.k.a. Broken System, Broken Trust, uh, Joshua Lanto. And today we get to view Joshua Lanto as he gets owned by a judge and his sovereign citizen viewpoints are pretty much put on blast by the judge. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. In the matter of people versus Joshua Lanto. Mr. Lanto, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, counsel, you want to put your appearance on record? Looks like Mr. Cooch left the room, Judge. Is he anywhere to be seen? He came out and went back in. Okay. Uh, Mr. Greco, it's been indicated to me that uh, somebody wants a 30 day adjournment on Mr. Lanto's case for discovery. Is that right? Uh, I wasn't. That's fine with me, Judge, if that's what the request is. Well, quick objection. The, the request was, why don't we just drop this right now? Okay, Mr. Leto, you understand that you're the one requesting that you be given 30 days to get discovery. It's not the process. Well, the first thing I want... okay, you want a trial request... today? You want a trial today? Well, I mean, I'd be, I'd even be willing to, you know, sign a guilty plea today if um the court can just produce the factual evidence of jurisdiction it should be in my file somewhere typical sovereign citizen bullshit trying to uh say that nobody has jurisdiction over them uh, but dude if you live in the united states you are under united states law and no matter what state you live in you are under their law but if you go from one state to another and commit a crime in another state you are bound by the laws and jurisdictions of that state and you are tried as such so dude get over it it doesn't that argument doesn't work um you know, I, I was asking for the same thing up in the Clarkson courthouse, and they sent me to the uh, Oakland Mr. County Jail. Mr. Lanto, Mr. Lanto, Mr. Lanto, I'm not going to produce anything. I don't have to. I'm the judge. And as far as I know, the prosecutor can only produce what he wants to produce to convict. So we're not doing that. Your attorney's asked for 30 days. Do you want the 30 days, or do you want to go to trial today? Well, let's see what the discovery evidence has to say. But uh, first, you know, if they could, the fir very first thing out of there, if they, they could send the factual evidence of jurisdiction. That would be great. It should be a one-page document. If the if the prosecutor filed this, Mr. Lanto, Mr. Lanto, Mr. Lanto, you're talking crazy. I would suggest that you listen to your attorney, okay? I'm going to adjourn this matter on his motion for 30 days. Did you just so. say? Can, can you? I have an Send this to the just... assignment clerk, Mr. Mr. Lanto. You're not listening. See, that's why you get in trouble because you like to talk and you think you know it all and you don't listen. Exactly, Judge. And I know a few people who are just like Joshy Boy right here who don't want to listen to a word anybody else has to say because they believe they're right 100% of the time, when generally they're wrong about 99.99% .99 of the time. And they are pretty much called narcissistic sociopaths. And I happen to ha used to have a roommate who is exactly that way. But let's continue on. I'm going to adjourn your case for 30 days. I'm going to send the matter down to the assignment clerk. She'll send out a notice. Hopefully well, your attorney I, will have the discovery that he wants by then, and we can handle your case. Okay? Well, have you, have you kind of calmed down a little bit? 
oh boy, this nitwit who lives on the streets and pretty much eats garbage is telling the judge to calm down. The judge who has had a whole life's full of education to sit in his position. Uh, someone who has went through years of legal training. Then telling him to calm down and pretty much in stating at some points that he knows better than him, even if it's implicitly. Oh my goodness, Josh, you're not doing very well, are you? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. What did he say? No. You're all it, set. It seems like you're getting angry. Me. It seems like you're getting angry. No, Mr. Lanto, you, you uh, can leave the meeting. We'll see you in 30 days or so. Clerk will well, send you a notice. Want, of well, I just want the record to show I've, I've asked these same questions in several courts, and nobody has said I'm talking crazy. Oh, yeah? That's the first time somebody said I've been anything but reasonable in a courtroom. I really doubt that, Joshy boy. In fact, I think, you know what? You're telling us a little story that you have no evidence for. But let's continue on, shall we? Huh. That's amazing. Huh. Right. <laughs> you're, talking like, you're, you're talking like you know all about the law, and it, and it doesn't make any sense to me. Well, then let me ask a few questions for clarification. You don't need to ask any questions. We'll we'll deal with it in 30 days, Mr. Lanto. Wait, we can't ask simple logical questions today? Ask your attorney when you see him. Like I said, I'd be willing to sign the guilty plea and just, you know, be done with this if I just see the factual evidence of jurisdiction, number one. And That's then number two. That's what we're asking for discovery. Okay, and then the proof of jurisdiction is going to be in there? Is that, I mean, I'm asking a simple logical question. It's either yes or no, but the proof is going to be in there or not. It's I like it's very simple. It's very logical, actually. Well, let's see, Mr. Lanto. Mr. Lanto, I think maybe you ought to come into court in person next time, and your attorney will be here in person, and and we can talk about it. So when you get that letter, well, can I put on there that he's in person? I'm going to indicate to the assignment clerk that I want you here in person. You know where the courthouse is? Well, I feel it's like I'd be in danger if I, if if I came there. I'd be in danger. The uh, no, nah, you won't be in any danger. I'll assign a policeman to watch over you. That's uh, the scariest thing. But you watch over hear. him when he comes. Absolutely. That is the scariest thing I could ever hear. Really, Josh. Nobody wants to go out there and hurt you. Nobody cares about you. Nobody wants to do anything with you but put you in your place regarding your stupid sovereign citizen arguments. And let me tell you something. I have heard them for quite a while, and, well, they're nothing more than the standard run-of-the-mill bullshit that every other sovereign citizen guru spouts out of their pie holes. And that's coming from a very reasonable person. Okay, we'll see you in person in about 30 days, whatever date the assignment clerk gives you, and you come into okay. court, and we'll uh, take care of business, okay? So what does it mean to take care of business, and I got to come in person, and you're going to assign a police officer to me, and then you said I'm talking crazy. No, I, no you got it did, did I just recall what was said on the record? Did I just recall that correctly? You said no, you said it in reverse. I said first that you're talking so crazy talk. Then I said, I'm going to adjourn it for 30 days. And then I said, because you're worried about it, that I'd have a, an officer watch over you while you're in court. We'll see you in 30 days. People versus William Vaughn. Mr. Yes. Vaughn here. Yes, sir. I'm Mr. Here. Vaughn, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Counselor, you want to put your appearance on record? Thank you, Robert Coots, on behalf of uh, Mr. Vaughn. Okay. It indicated you want to set this matter over for a jury trial. Is that right? That is correct, right. Judge. Okay.
Well, Josh A. Boy, uh, from what I've seen of your sovereign citizen arguments in this case alone, I mean, you've got nothing to back you up on. I mean, you've tried to pull the uh, jurisdiction bit out of your ass, and, well, it still hasn't worked for you, at least in this scenario. But you know what? Keep trying. Maybe it'll work one day after you're long gone and uh, totally forgotten about by everybody in the next over the next century. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.